everybody. I'm in Montauk, East Tip of Long Island. Beautiful, beautiful beach. It's Atlantic Ocean right there. I'm just surrounded by beautiful nature. I just picked this uh, like a small flowers, wild flowers for my video. This morning I woke up with the sound of ocean. But I'm a little hungry. I gotta make something. I have ingredients, why not? Yesterday I went to the fish market and I bought fresh, fresh fluke, like a kind of flat fish. Today I'm going to use that fish, but you guys can use any type of flat fish. But today I'm going to pan fry fluke and the season. It's called Kajami Yangnyam Tugim in Korean. In English, seasoned pan fried flat fish. I've been using this recipe for a long time, years and years, for my family, friends, and party. So you will love this. This fluke is two and a half pounds, and I just scaled and then removed the intestine and cut it up into several pieces, washed and sprinkled with one tablespoon salt and then kept in the refrigerator. So this morning I can cook. In order to pan fry, first I brought this potato starch. Potato starch, you need potato starch or just plain flour, all-purpose flour. And then I'm going to coat my fish with this. Let's start with half a cup. So see, there's a fins. I don't have scissors at the moment, so I didn't cut it off. But if this is bothering you guys, and they cut it off with the scissors and remove the fins. But actually, it will be no problem. After pan frying, it's going to be crunchy and everything. You guys can eat this all. And then here, and just the coat, slightly. Yeah. I washed all this thing even inside this pocket yesterday. Look at this gill. Still really, really pinkish, pretty, and very fresh. I can't find this kind of fresh fish in New York. Even though I have, you know, my favorite fish market, but I can't find this kind of a really fresh fish. So fish is like, freshness is most important. Even yesterday, the fishmonger said, I can eat it just raw. I can feel it and then make a kind of a Korean hue in a raw fish. Amazing. Half cup starch work perfectly. And this is egg, uh, fish roll, the roll and liver. Let's go inside to cook this guy. I'm here. Are you guys ready to cook? I'm using two frying pans. Medium high heat. I will add this oil, some generously. Here too. This fish is kind of thick, so it's easily you can burn. So I'm going to cook really low heat, so around medium heat. Wow, head. And this. This guy has to be cooked later. This liver and roll is a thickly cooked. It's almost cooked. The liver, fish roll. I just opened the window because uh, the fish smells. So when this is fried, it really tasty smell for me. But like, you know, this is a smoky. Turn down the heat to low. And then this is the cooking foil. So I'm going to cover with the cooking foil. Just only my cooking foil is available, so I'm using this foil. 
But at home, usually, I use another kind of lid from the any pot or another frying pan on top. I always use this as a lid. I pan fried for 10 minutes over low heat. Now it's well, well cooked. I will show you. There you go. And then I'm going to flip over again. This side is opaque now, white, which means they're well cooked. Now what we have to do is make it crispy and then heat up over medium high. my mouth water. It looks so soft and tender, juicy. How is it? Looks so good, isn't it? Really crunchy and tasty. Wow. I'll just put it here. And here oil. My last piece is now being cooked. And then I'm going to cut up, you know, make a seasoning sauce. I will just use the four cloves of garlic. And this guy is connected. <laughs> just a cut. You can mince garlic or oh, I just like me, thin slice. and put in onion okay I'll bring my fish this is a whole one whole fish two and a half pound of fish was fried so this pan fried fish by itself delicious because we already salted and then pan fry with this you know the starch powder really really delicious by itself but when I added the seasoning sauce the taste is so enhanced so many people love love this you'll be surprised how easy it is I turn on the heat and then add some cooking oil when it's heated it's a garlic fry this garlic until little crispy. Whenever I fry garlic like this, I love this smell. Okay, so a little brownish and lower the heat. Add this soy sauce. So it's already salted, so I'm not going to use a lot. Two tablespoons around. Quarter cup water. Quarter cup of water. I brought this mulya. Mulya is a rice syrup. Around a quarter cup I'm using. Half a teaspoon. Half pepper flakes. Use a little bit of half pepper flakes. You see bubbling. And chopped green onion. Awesome, see? Lots of bubble. Turn off. I will add sesame oil, just a little bit. One teaspoon sesame oil. I 
I already turn off the heat and then this fish one by one like this. And I'll just put it here. We use a, a starch powder, so a little like a sticky stuff here. Yeah. That makes it more juicy and tasty. Fish head. This is very delicious, my favorite food. It never failed. Whenever I make this, people love this. Raw and liver. This sauce. Delicious. I see. Last touch, sesame seeds. And let me taste. I take out this guy. Actually, really easily you can feel it. Like the inside is huge bones here. So you got rid of this. Pin around here is always small fish, fish bones. Look at that. And here too. Even this one is a lot of fish bones still here. I, do, I like to save all. You can eat this way. I love this skin part. Crunchy and chewy, so that part that I love that. Mm. Crunchy and chewy and also a little salty, garlicky and sesame oil and this all Korean seasoning is not greasy. I don't feel any greasy feeling. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.